Yes, well, thank you for inviting me to Geneva. It's great to be here. Uh, one of the things that's great about the space program is it provides a, an avenue for international cooperation. And of course, Geneva is the center of many international organizations. So our space program really brings together different nations. So I've come here to talk to people about that international aspect of the program. As you know, CERN is close by, another great example of international cooperation. But as a child, I always wanted to fly in space. I was born in the late 1950s, so I watched the Apollo missions on television in the 60s. So I eventually became an astronaut. I tried many times, and so now I've had the chance to fly on the space shuttle four times and to do several spacewalks, including those on the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Station. So it's been a great ride. The International Space Station is the result of 15 nations working together. And so it really took a lot of protocol, a lot of meetings, and a lot of getting to know each other before we actually could proceed. But in terms of success, it's been fully successful in integrating all these pieces and different launch vehicles and different astronauts from many different countries together. And English is the common language on board. However, we are required, as a, the American astronauts are required to speak Russian because sometimes we ride to the space station on Russian spacecraft. So there is a, a clear understanding of each other's uh, protocols and traditions, and we, ce we celebrate all of the holidays for all the different countries. So it seems like almost every other week, there's a holiday for one of the 15 countries involved. Flying in space is a really magical experience because of the weightlessness that's present. You can, for example, sleep on the wall, you can eat your lunch on the ceiling, and of course you can look out the window and see the magical Earth. It's absolutely beautiful, blue marble and a black ocean. So when people ask me what it's like, I usually say it's like a magic show. It's just a magical experience. Um, I've had the opportunity to go outside the spaceship in a special spacesuit we had, and that is um, somewhat even more exciting because when you're outside, you don't have the electricity coming from the spaceship, you don't have your uh, air conditioning or cooling or heating coming from the spaceship. You have it in your suit, so you're kind of your own little spaceship out there. So you're independent, and uh, it's really a, an amazing experience to fly outside of the spaceship on your own. And the final thing I'll say is when you're inside the spaceship, you're looking through windows that are pretty old and they're a little bit scratched up now. But the spacesuit helmets they give us are usually pristine, so you get a much better view when you're doing a spacewalk. And we, we remind the pilots of that all the time. Um, the future is currently under debate within our uh, government in the United States, but clearly it'll be an international effort to go somewhere. I think anywhere we go in the future will require a multinational effort. Some people think we should go to the moon first, some people think we should go to Mars first, some think people think we should go to both. But uh, the United States will develop a new system to follow up the space shuttle, and we're already working with our international partners to determine what they can also contribute in terms of expertise. So for example, our Canadian uh, colleagues are very good in robotics, so almost certainly they will always com uh, contribute robotic uh, arms, for example, to the space program. So we will go somewhere together, and it's going to promote world cooperation, which is really one of the highlights of the space program.